Hello everybody, I've got some good news for you guys involving Kim Davis, that bigoted clerk who refused to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. It's something that really puts a smile on my face and I'm pretty sure that it's going to put a smile on your face as well. Kim Davis, the defiant Kentucky County Clerk, was found in contempt of court and taken into federal custody, and she will be spending the night in jail. U.S. District Court Judge David Booning ordered Davis, the Rowan County Clerk, to be jailed on the contempt charges until she agrees to comply with multiple court orders to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. The court cannot condone the willful disobedience of its lawfully issued order, Booning said. If you give people the opportunity to choose which orders they follow, that's what potentially causes problems. The judge ordered Davis held indefinitely because he did not believe fines would be enough to compel her to follow the law because he suspected her supporters would pay those penalties. Her office refused to issue a marriage license to a same-sex couple as recently as Thursday morning before Davis and her staff closed the office to make the half-hour trip from Moorhead to Ashland. I am going to leave this article in its entirety in the description down below for you guys to take a look at when you do get the chance. But there is one more thing that I want to share with you guys from this article that I think is really interesting. And it goes a little something like this. A Rowan County attorney said in an interview that the deputy clerks would have issued marriage licenses to same-sex couples but were too afraid of Kim Davis to do it, to disagree with her. And this really doesn't surprise me, you know, especially when it comes to Christian fundamentalists like this. They want to control people with fear. They want to put fear into individuals so that these people will do what they want them to do without question. And this is something that really offends me, and I'm pretty sure that this is something that offends you guys as well. Because these Christians really thrive on this type of attention. You know, they thrive on this type of power trip, if you will. Because, again, it's all about control for them. We have seen this time and time again with other religious individuals in regards to how they control people to get them to do the things that they want them to do. It's ridiculous. This fairy tale is ridiculous. And that's how I see it. You know, feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Plus, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching and I will see you next video. I want to make a really quick comment to all of you Christians out there who think basically the same way that Kim Davis did. And I think I hinted on this in a previous video I made about Kim Davis. You guys have to realize that the laws of the land come first. You guys have to realize that your religious freedom ends where civil rights begin. They are making an example out of Kim Davis. You know, you guys have to learn that you have to comply with the laws. Otherwise, you can be put in jail just like Kim Davis. Bottom line, you have to keep your religion out of the government offices that you are working in. Because it's going to create a lot of problems. And not only that, it's illegal. And that's all I have to say.